Hello and welcome everyone to this video. Today we have Indranil with us. Uh, he will be sharing about his uh, success journey, how he transitioned. So first of all, congratulations Indranil on your placement. Thanks Ayush. Uh, so Indranil, why don't you tell us about your academic background before uh, and how did your mindset that you want to transition into data science? So Ayush, uh, basically um, by qualification, I'm a graduate in electronics engineering. Okay. And then I started working in the BPO sector. Okay. But then actually I always wanted to get back to a technical field. Mm -hmm. But it was not working out mm -hmm. quite some years. And then I came across uh, this course of AI and ML. Okay. And um, I, I thought this is the best opportunity to actually switch back to what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So then I joined some courses. Mm -hmm. uh, it did not work out. Uh, there were placements, mm -hmm. but uh, their criteria was quite stringent okay. and it, and the course was quite tough mm -hmm. because it was in tie up with an uh, with a university, okay. uh, quite a renowned university. Mm -hmm. So and they had tough, uh, what do you call, exam criteria. So it didn't work out for me over there. So obviously okay. I didn't get placements through them. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I still needed to continue this journey. I didn't want to give up. So mm -hmm. then I came across Board Infinity. And then Board Infinity had two things. Like one was they had this assurance of cashback policy if it does not work here. Mm -hmm. So that was a, a very uh, strong attraction point. And the second was they was giving placements as well. Mm -hmm. And they had guaranteed placements. So then I decided no two minds. Let's get on board with Board Infinity. And then I came mm -hmm. and I uh, spoke with the, I mean, I think the counselors, counselors right and they walked me through the process it was quite comfortable mm -hmm. i was convinced and then i joined bone infinity all right uh, so uh, while you're saying you know you had uh, different experience with some other edtech right so uh, how was your mindset back then now you were joining board infinity right so was there any kind of fear or something like that uh the only fear that i had was that i will not be able to get back it okay. i would the field which i wanted mm -hmm. to join mm -hmm. So that fear kept me going. Mm -hmm. It was not exactly fear, I, w I could say anxiety. Okay. Because I didn't want to be in the BPO right. sector for long. Right. And so was there any specific thing that interested you in data science or was it just care BPO mein nahi rehna, I just want to make a transition? No, the specific thing about data science is actually I didn't come across uh, towards it as data science, it was more of AI and ML, okay. artificial intelligence and machine learning. Mm -hmm. So I was very interested in the way those things are being coded, programmed and you know it is like out of the box solutions. Right. Every solution is unique in terms of data science, AI and ML. So that was very interesting because you get to think a lot, you can do a lot of R&D, you can, you, you know, you can be uh, imaginative right. in your solutions. So that is something which attracted me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this attraction was always there and you wanted to make a yeah, transition yeah. out of BPO. Earlier if I had actually... Mm -hmm. If I had uh, come across this much earlier, then probably I would have transitioned much earlier. Right, right. But you know, you mm -hmm. when some things ha have to happen, it takes time, it takes time. Right, right. So then, uh, you know, how was your journey at Board Infinity? What all uh, subjects you studied and how was the, that journey? So I think it was the uh, data science in ML, mm -hmm. right? So it was not that difficult. The coaches were quite, uh, what, what should I say? Their way of teaching was quite explanative mm -hmm. and it uh, it was uh, not difficult to understand and if even if you get, if you got stuck somewhere mm -hmm. the coaches were on the point to explain and get your uh, doubt cleared mm -hmm. and the advantage was since it was a online session not an offline session mm -hmm. where you had only videos right. right there are some courses where you only have videos you mm -hmm. go through the videos and learn but but if you have doubts mm -hmm. it gets difficult to get in touch with the coach but here it was in the coach online right. right it was a live session so you could get your doubts cleared over there so yeah it was pretty in terms of uh, uh, if i would say learning it was i would say quite smooth mm -hmm. not that difficult so right all the modules that you studied right excel sql python whatever which one did you find kya ye mushkil hai ya waisa kuch um python is actually um I wouldn't say tough, mm -hmm. but uh, it's actually if you have to have hands-on practice right. on it. Absolutely. Even if you like, even if you miss out in a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. you kind of 
lose track of coding right. you lose the flair and the skill of coding so you have to have your hands on on it absolutely and so what all projects did you make across all these modules so the projects uh, we had this one on one session mm. that is after the courses or you have one is to one session with the coaches right. so i had uh, projects on uh, regression linear mm. regression and then after that i also did uh, courses um so projects on uh, uh, speech mm. nlp using nlp and also using uh, you know there was one which i did uh, in terms of uh, image okay. coming using computer vision ha uh, open zero neural networks uh. So, uh, can you be more specific? मतलब क्या प्रोजेक्ट थे क्या उसमें चैलेंजेस फेस किया है? चैलेंजेस थे। I mean, uh, hmm. basically in terms of the solution, hmm. the coding solution and you know, just solution जो आप ढूंढते हो, okay? So it is not just one fixed set of parameters. Hmm. You you have to go through different uh, sites, different vlogs. You have एक तो है बहुत ही common you know that's the वो कहते हैं stack overflow. Hmm. Apart from that, दूसरे भी हैं सो यू हैव टू रिसर्च योर सोल्यूशन तो एक तो रिलियर इग्रेशन का था आई थिंक वन वॉज इन टर्म्स ऑफ लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी का था एक हर कंट्री का लाइफ लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी क्या होगा एक था सेंटिमेंट एनालिसिस पे और एक था मैंने किया था दैट वॉज फॉर इमेज मैचिंग तो ऐसा मिक्स किया था मैंने प्रोजेक्ट जस्ट टू शो दैट नॉट ओनली रिग्रेशन आई एम आल्सो डूइंग फॉर एन एल पी एज वेल एज विद टेंसर फ्लो और कन्वोल्यूशन सोल्यूशन के हिसाब से ओके सो लाइफ एक्सपेक्टेंसी के हिसाब यू हैव लाइक the gdp of the country mm-hmm. then unka health care kya ka bhi parameter tha right then population jo age mm-hmm. age wise population then unka basically smoking and all that so mm-hmm. wo sab parameters the right so all those parameters are important mm-hmm. but then wo jo solution hai na usme there are certain things which matlab uh, uh, which automatically wo parameters wo kahte hain like uh, there is a theory not theory i would say ek uh, Uh, what do you call a formula hai mm. which actually decides kya parameters should right. be best best parameters which you can include in your solution mm. depending so, upon depending upon so wo coding ke isme include ho jata hai libraries right. hai usme perfect all right so would you like to tell us about your interview experience like how many companies you applied to what all troubles you faced in that yeah actually that was that was a grueling part because uh, companies were looking for freshers mm. honestly mm. so even uh, in fact i was in touch with the uh, not counselors but i think the person who was in charge of placement mm. so even he was putting across my profile mm. so i was in touch with mukul as well right so they knew they knew the uh, difficulty that i was facing mm. but then um, it was from e clerks that uh, he put forward my profile to the vice president of e clerks okay. uh, ruben so he took my interview mm-hmm. and then he went through the projects and all and then he f- and then he forwarded my profile to uh, the india side hmm. so so that was actually a very good effort from board infinity and mukul special thanks to him right jo they went to this one step ahead right. and um, made sure that <laughs> ek na ek jugad to ho hi raha hai एक्सपीरियंस क्या था उसमें मैंने क्या क्या मेरे खुद के कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन क्या थे वॉट आर दिंग्स आई डिड इन टर्म्स ऑफ मेकिंग अम इन माई प्रीवियस कंपनीज uh and uh, any body call challenges that i faced in my previous job how i handled them mm. that was one then jo projects maine kiye usme based on that so right. wo, ye coding ki use kiya apne mm. why did you not uh, you know if this is the problem then how will you handle mm. the solution for this so what kind of coding will you use over here 
what kind of logic in fact more than coding they want to use the lo- they want to know what logic you're going to use that's more important coding to ho jayega that's not a big deal mm-hmm. but what kind of logic will you uh, use to come across to the solution right so that was with uh, ruben and then came across to and then when the actual interview happened with um, the managers who i'm reporting now so it's almost again quite a lengthy session mm-hmm. they wanted to know about my previous experience uh how i handled uh, challenges over there right and uh, why data science mm-hmm. why i want to do the this particular course and uh, again if this is the problem what right. will be your solution so logic so testing scenario based scenario based right. and un- getting an understanding of how much i know about uh, ml ai right so that's and the based especially based on the projects that i have done what is Mm-hmm. Mm, uh, how you handle this right. what if the instead of this if this were to come how would you mm-hmm. handle this there are certain scenarios obviously i didn't know the answer right so so it's best to be honest mm. so any piece of advice for the fellow learners you know who are uh, now probably in their career transition or planning for their career transition yeah first of all i would definitely advise them is if you have selected this field mm. so it's important there's a reason why they selected this field right mm. so it's important to stick with them work hard for it it's important to understand the logic mm-hmm. if you're coming across a project understand the logic behind it right S- solution will come up automatically coding is just a tool right but the most important is what kind of logic you will use to mm-hmm. tackle the solution and yeah obviously apart from that the courses and whatever the subjects are it's very important to have a good grasp on them right so practical knowledge more than theory practical knowledge the more they practice it will be good for them right so they once you have a grasp on the basics fundamentals then mm-hmm. everything else is, is is a piece of cake all right amazing so just on the uh, closing remarks you know uh, how would you rate you know mentorship right matlab mentorship kitna important hai for a career transition and how it helped you out well mentorship is definitely very important mm-hmm. i i mean i think my batch was lucky especially me mm-hmm. so we had uh, very good uh, coordinators as i said mukul Mm-hmm. in terms of ha- you know handling some of the issues that uh, my batch was facing right. so we used to have certain calls a certain con calls hote the jis pe all the issues were being mm-hmm. tackled then used to give queries and solutions for that wo ek ho gaya then apart from that uh, i think ananya was a project manager mm-hmm. so ananya was very good uh, was a big help in you know chote chote solutions issues right. the like for example test ke marks mm-hmm. or you know, टेस्ट कभी होंगे और इफ कुछ टेस्ट में इशूज़ है लाइक आई डोंट अग्री विद द मार्क्स दैट आई गॉट सो आई टू गेट इन टच विद एंड शी शी यूज टू गेट द सोल्यूशन डन फॉर मी सो इट वाज अ सो डेफिनेटली दैट वाज अ बिग हेल्प क्वाइट अ गुड हेल्प फ्रॉम बोर्ड इन्फिनिटी अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट द कोचेज वे डेफिनेटली क्वाइट गुड इन द इन देयर फील्ड सो वेन दे वे कमिंग ऑन बोर्ड लाइव सेशन्स तो नॉट जस्ट दे वर नॉट ओनली जस्ट टीचिंग दे हैड वेरी गुड नॉलेज गुड ग्रास्प ऑफ द subject domain but apart from that they used to also have tips and tricks mm-hmm. on you know how to crack a good interview so for them it is one thing which i understood that 50% of your interview will be cleared if you have very good communication skills half your job is, is done, done over there yeah. the rest is just your domain knowledge mm-hmm. but communication skills is very important good right. grasp on english and the way you communicate mm. so obviously you know since you were have you have you were working in bpu so communication is necessary over there yeah, but any uh, tips or advice for someone you know for uh, communication how they can improve their communication so now see if you're talking about communication we are talking about english by default yeah. interviews everything is happening by english right. by default so yeah you don't need to join a bpo to improve your communication <laughs> skills so it's mostly how you are trying to you know um, polish the way you speak i mean um, if you have if you if you are talking about improving your english gra- grammar mm-hmm. then watch uh, you know shows right. english shows watch youtube contents you don't have to speak with an accent mm-hmm. that's not required but you to have have a neutral accent with a uh, clear and concise uh, pronunciation of the words right so you so that you're able to get across the message 
मतलब मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट वही है कि वॉट एवर थॉट्स विच आर गोइंग ऑन इन योर हेड योर आर यू एबल टू एक्सप्लेन इट टू द इंटरव्यूर और नॉट एब्सोल्यूटली बिकॉज इवन इफ यू नो द सोल्यूशन बट इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू मेक द इंटरव्यूर कन्विंस्ड आउट ऑफ इट Absolutely. So your interview is going to go in vain. So best is be confident in the right. way you are answering. Ghuma na mat. Because if you try to you know beat around the bush, the interview right. will definitely catch you somewhere, <laughs> and you'll get stuck. Right. So if you don't know something, be honest and saying I'm not sure about it. But mm-hmm. however, if you give an opportunity, I can get back to you with the solution right. or with the answer. Mm-hmm. Or else, the the way you speak, there should be confidence in every statement that you make. Mm-hmm. राइट इफ यू आर मतलब आप श्योर हो कि नहीं अपने सॉल्यूशन को लेकर हां एग्जैक्टली सो यू शुड बी श्योर अबाउट सो इफ डेफिनेटली व्हेन इंटरव्यूज विल हैपन दे विल ट्राई टू नो द प्रोजेक्ट्स दैट यू डिड राइट एंड एब्सोल्युटली एज यू सेड कि अगर आप लॉजिक से किसी चीज को कर रहे हो तो दैट कॉन्फिडेंस इज कमिंग बाय डिफॉल्ट ओनली बिकॉज़ अगर आपने खुद उस चीज पे काम करा है यू नो व्हाई हैव डन व्हाट यू हैव डन एब्सोल्युटली देन इट शुड नॉट बी अ प्रॉब्लम टेलिंग यू द इंटरव्यूअर अमेजिंग सो थैंक्स अ लॉट इंडियन फॉर जॉइनिंग आई आई होप योर journey you know will inspire learners to you know further get ahead in absolutely i hope so yeah. and best of luck to all the learners yeah amazing we wish you a great career and uh, big thanks to board infinity thank for uh, making this transition <laughs> easier for me all right thank you thank you all